Hello again, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today for our webinar on inventory management best practices. Today, we'll be covering the miracle of bundles. Before we get started, now would be a good time to shut down any other web browsers you have running, apps like Slack or Skype, or anything else that may be zapping some of your internet bandwidth. If you experience any issues during the webinar, try logging out and logging back in. That usually fixes it. Please type any questions you have in the chat box located at the bottom right, and we'll get to as many as time allows after the webinar. We'll follow up on any that we can't get to during the live webinar afterwards. Okay, let's get started. I'd like to introduce Shay Meyer, our inventory management specialist. Today, she'll walk you through the miracle of bundles and show you how all of this can be done in Shipping Easy's inventory management platform. As a reminder, this is part of a series, and there will be other webinars covering different topics such as low stock alerts and Amazon FBA for inventory. All of these webinars will be recorded and are available for you to watch again later. Shay, take it away. Thanks, Rob. Okay, as Rob said, today we'll be covering the miracle of bundles and best practices. Specifically, we'll be going over what bundles are defined as within Shipping Easy, how to create bundles in two different ways, and creative ways to utilize bundles. So to get us started, what are bundles? In its simplest form, Shipping Easy sees bundles as items that can be be sold individually as well as collectively. This means that so long as you have products listed individually within Shipping Easy with their own SKU numbers, Shipping Easy will be able to support you listing them grouped together as well. As a note, this would not include pre-packaged groupings of products. Some basic examples of this include products that you sell individually, like shirts in different colors, that you would also want to sell in a group, such as the same shirt in multiple colors. This can also apply to products that you'd like to sell individually, but in multiples as well, such as a white shirt that you sell in a quantity of one, but that you'd also like to sell in a quantity of five. So Shipping Easy will be able to support these groups even if your platform does not, so long as the SKU for the individual product as well as the SKU for the grouping is set up in Shipping Easy, we can help you set up bundles in your account. And just to clarify also, we wanted to touch base on what is a kit. A kit is a group of items that are already packaged. This will have its own stock level independent of the component items. This should be used when items are grouped together or packaged together. This will be viewed as an individual item SKU within Shipping Easy. So when you do set up a bundle within Shipping Easy, it ties the bundle itself to the individual component items. To clarify, you will not be listing the number of bundles that you can make in the stock column of your inventory. You will only ever need to list the quantity available for the component items. Once we have that quantity, Shipping Easy will automatically populate the quantity of the bundles based on the maximum numbers, number of bundles that can be made from the components. That quantity will then be sent back to your two-way sync platforms via the link set up between the SKU number on your store and the SKU number within Shipping Easy. If you have a component item that runs out of stock, that bundle will be listed at zero available within Shipping Easy and within your platform. And within Shipping Easy, we do have two ways to create a bundle. And the first way is going to be via CSV. When you're creating a CSV bundle setup, you'll essentially need to have two columns minimum. The first column will be the SKU column. Then you'll want to have a bundle column. In the SKU column, you'll list all of the SKUs for the bundles that you want to be working with. These will need to be added into Shipping Easy's product list on your account before taking this step. Then once you have identified the SKU numbers in your bundles, the second column, the bundles column, is where you'll tell us exactly what goes into the bundle and how much. The formatting of the bundle column is going to be very specific, but it falls in line with other formatting, such as aliasing. 
So the bundle column is where you'll list the component items and exactly how many of each of those component items will be included in the bundle. So the formatting is going to be SKU colon space quantity space pipeline SKU colon space quantity and so on. And this is all available within the inventory section of your account. And it also shows up on any of your product exports, our sample CSVs, as well as in our support page. If you're only going to have a quantity of one listed for each item, you'll still need to have the number one entered as the quantity. Also, if you're only listing one product, you won't need to have any additional SKUs or even the pipeline, but you'll still need to have the product and the quantity. The bundle formatting is a lot like the alias column, but the difference is the inclusion of the quantity and the actual mapping of the CSV upload. So just making sure that you're following these steps is going to help ensure that you don't receive any errors on your upload. So within Shipping Easy, you're going to be able to create a bundle from your individual products page. So in your products list, you'll have the option to click on your individual products and then click on the edit button in the top right hand corner. Once clicking on the, once you've clicked on the edit button, you'll see the option at the top of the page to turn on the feature that says this is a bundled product. When you toggle this on and then scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see additional options populate underneath the bundled products section. So within these fields, you're going to be able to search for and enter the component SKUs, and then you'll be able to populate the quantities for each SKU that will be included in the bundle. You'll be able to see that the options on the product details page have changed. So you'll have a list of the component SKUs and their quantities listed, as well as the individual stock levels. You'll also see the limitations to the edit options, that you'll no longer have the ability to update stock on this page. I mentioned it earlier, but it deserves repeating. Once a product is set up as a bundle, you'll no longer list or control the stock level. This will be done automatically based on your component items. So some things that can be done with bundles are multi-packs and groups of items. So with multi-packs, you can set up the multi-pack within Shipping Easy so long as you have a SKU number for the individual product. And if that SKU number is part of a multi-pack, you'll be able to easily turn on the this is a bundled product option and then list the quantity. If you don't have, already have both of these SKUs for the individual and the multi-pack entered into Shipping Easy, you want to either add in the product listings to your platform and import, or go ahead and manually add them into Shipping Easy via CSV or the Add Products button. So just as long as those SKU numbers are within Shipping Easy, you'll have access to the bundle options. When you're combining groups of items into a bundle, you will need multiple separate SKUs, so for each product. So you'll still need to make sure that there is a SKU for each individual product already listed in Shipping Easy. And then in order to include anything in a bundle, it first needs to be an individual product within our system. Once you have all the products within Shipping Easy, this is when you can associate them with each other under the SKU for the bundle. So what you're seeing on this page right here. Shipping Easy makes it easy to see just what bundles you have listed by way of the type filter. This will be where you can filter down to individual products or bundles. You can even go a step further and filter down to a specific store so that you're able to see all the bundles you have listed in that specific store. When you're working with bundles, the component items won't need to be listed on any of your platforms to be included and to be tracked. You can set up a listing as an individual item on your platform and then come over to Shipping Easy and set that SKU as a bundle with component items not listed on your platform. This can be really useful if you want to get creative with your product tracking or include additional items 
in your products that aren't listed on your store. So when you're looking at your products page and you're seeing the list of all your items, the left hand side of that page is going to be where you'll see the filtering options and the type option is what you'll want to use in order to see anything that's currently listed as a bundle. So the creativity with setting up your bundles brings us to some outside the box bundles. So within Shipping Easy, we tie SKUs to your platform. This means that the only connection we need to have is that a SKU number in Shipping Easy equals a SKU number on your store. What you do with that SKU number on Shipping Easy is really up to you. So not all items listed in your bundle are required to be listed on your platform in order for us to track them. So the first outside the box bundle is component item tracking. This is probably um, the most used feature of the bundles. So Shipping Easy does not have raw material tracking. However, if your products are made up of whole number quantities of component items, we will be able to track these. So as you can see, this is a lamp and it contains a base, a cord, a harp, and a lampshade. So if you look down towards the bottom of the page, this is how a bundled CSV would be set up. So you have a brass lamp that contains one brass base, one internal cord, one harp, and one shade. So anytime someone on your platform would order a brass lamp, each of the component items would have one deducted from their stock. The next bundle type we have are subscription boxes. So these are becoming more and more popular. On your platform, you may just have one listing for the subscription box itself, and then have a spreadsheet where you track everything that's included. Within our system, you can have all the SKUs from the subscription boxes on your platform listed, and then associate them with not only the items that will be included, but the packaging as well. So since this has a very specific packaging that goes along with the items, you can go ahead and include that in your CSV. So the large box at the top, that's going to be the shipping box. And then if you look at the bottom of the component items list, you see the shipping box or subscription box June. So this is a way that we're able to actually track packaging. And again, each of these component items can have a different stock level. And we will display the quantity available for this bundle based on the lowest stock item. So ultimately the maximum number of bundles we can make with those component items for you. Next we have special items added in. So for special items added in, this would be if someone is ordering a specific product or group of products on your platform, and then you also want to include additional items. So in this example, we have the bracelet bundle, which has two bracelets, as well as an advertising postcard. So if there's something that you'd like to add in to your shipments that isn't included on your site or isn't just an actual item that someone can purchase, you'll still be able to track that by setting it up as a bundle. Next, we have gift with purchase. So this is kind of along the same lines. However, it, it tracks in the same way where a customer purchases something and then something additional goes into the shipment. But in this case, you're going to see that this would be maybe a sale that you're offering or some special where if a customer comes into your store and purchases the Yankees t-shirt, they also get a keychain. So it's a great way to market your store to bring more customers in. Custom made items are becoming incredibly popular. So with these, we wanna be able to track what goes into those custom products. And again, since we don't have raw material tracking, what we need is for your bundles to be made up of whole number products. But in this specific example, what we're doing is we're actually tracking 
the product that the design goes on, the co color, I'm sorry, the uh, product that the design goes on and the design itself. So you'll see that we have a tote bag and then we have a custom design. And so with this, you can have tote bag custom and see tote bag custom design. So you can set up multiple designs to be associated with individual products. You'll just need to have a separate SKU for each of those bundles. This is a great way for you to track the popularity of a design and to track the component item that goes into it. Another option that you have is to include just the physical item that you're wanting to track in the bundle. So there's not a minimum number of products that you have to include in a bundle. So in this case, if you just wanted to track the tote bag and have it associated with the design, you could have the design name and the tote bag be the bundled SKU and have it just include one of the tote bags. So that's a way to make sure that you don't have to keep track of the stock level on the design itself, but we're still tracking how many tote bags you have on hand. You can also associate that tote bag with as many bundles as you'd like. And then anytime one of them sells, we will update the quantity to every bundle that it is that it exists in. And then we have made to order items. So this is pretty similar. In this case, a customer may have the option to pick several different variables that would go into their bundle. So in this case, we have the animal design, and then we have a clear plate in black. So if you look at the component items, you can see animal design is just the animal design. Clear plate black is going to be a clear plate with black print. So this tells our supplier exactly what we need. This tells anyone looking at what's been purchased exactly what's going into it. And it's also going to help you track everything that has to do with this product. So you'll be able to track the popularity of designs. You'll be able to track the popular, popularity of item colors. You, you'll be able to track down to the popularity of the print. So anything that you're interested in tracking, you can make into a SKU and associate it with that bundle so that you can see exactly what's being purchased or what your customers are gravitating towards. And then finally, we have buy the quantity products. So this would include buy the yard or buy the pound products. In this example, we're looking at a pound of salt. And so if you happen to order your products in large quantities and then break them down, you can still set up bundles for that. So what you would ultimately do is start with the smallest quantity that goes into your products. So in this case, everything that's sold is made up of one pound increments. So in this case, what I have is I have my one pound of salt, and that's the only individual item that's listed here. Everything else is going to be a bundle made up of that one pound. So whenever I receive a shipment in and I need to update my stock level for the salt, all I have to do is update that one pound item and it'll update all of the other bundles that I have based on that quantity. Also, whenever someone buys maybe the four pounds of salt, it's going to automatically deduct four from the one pound and it will update every bundle associated with it that's affected by that sale. And so bundles are fairly flexible and they're a really great way for you to just get creative with how you want to market your products and get them to your customers. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Rob. Awesome. Thank you so much, Shay, for sharing all of that uh, very helpful and interesting information. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a question for Shay, uh, now would be the time to go ahead and ask that in the bottom right. There should be a chat box for you. Uh, we did get some that came in beforehand, so we'll go ahead and address those right now. Uh, Shay, the first question is, how do I remove a bundle once it's been created? 
Great question, Rob. So if you want to remove a bundle, all you need to do is toggle the option button from on to off. I'll go ahead and scroll back to the page where we can see the bundle set up within the app. So that option at the top of the page that's blue and says on for this is a bundled product, just toggle that to off and this will no longer be listed as a bundle and it won't be associated with those component items. Now that said, you'll wanna make sure that you go back and update the stock level for this product once it's no longer a bundle, just so that we can make sure that we're tracking it accurately. Well, that seems pretty easy. <laughs> so another question we have is, if I have a separate stock level for my bundle than the component items, how do I set that up? So that would actually be viewed as a kit within our system, and it would need to be its own product and its own SKU. So ultimately, anything that's packaged together that you can just go out and grab one of, so one of those pre-packaged kits is going to be viewed as an individual item. And so you'll want to just leave it set as an individual item within Shipping Easy. Awesome. Thanks, Rob. The next question we have here is getting to be a little bundleception. So can you bundle a bundle? That's an awesome question. So at this time, you can't bundle a bundle, but what you can do is you can associate all the component items for different bundles into one. So in this case, if you, would, if you had a bundle with four items and another bundle with four items, and you wanted to sell both of those bundles together, all you would need to do is have a third bundle with the eight component items that are listed in both of the previous bundles. So I know I'm saying bundle a lot, <laughs> but you can still set this up as a bundle of the, the previous two bundles. You would just wanna break out those component items and list them individually so we can accurately track that for you. That makes total sense. And then uh, this is an interesting question. So if I don't have SKUs, can I still create bundles? So if you don't have SKUs, the first thing that you'll want to do is just set up SKUs within Shipping Easy. We have the Add Product button on your products page. We also have CSV uploads and product imports. So go ahead and just add a SKU into Shipping Easy. And from that point on, you can do anything that you want with it regarding the bundles. You can set it up as a bundle. You can turn the bundle off. You can associate it with items and you can make it a component part. Awesome. Well, that does look like that's all the questions we have for today. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for this webinar. I hope you learned something about bundles. Uh, just a reminder, this is being recorded, and we will send it out afterwards so that you have uh, a replay to watch. Uh, there will also be a couple more coming up. Uh, the I believe that's going to be the low stock alerts and uh, Amazon FBA for inventory. So keep an eye out. Uh, you can visit... Uh, the website that will be in the email that comes to you with the replay and sign up for those as well. So thank you very much for joining us for this webinar. Have a happy 4th of July and happy shipping.